Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. As you can see, we have our Weekend League rewards ready to be claimed. I have not filmed rewards in a long time, but I thought, hey, it's ultimate team of the season. Let's see what we get. I did start opening up my Division Rivals rewards, unfortunately. So from our Division 1 rewards, we only have one ultimate pack left to open, but that will at least give us something. My other one was terrible. I just got Falcao as my best player, but let's just go ahead and claim on. Let's see if we can get anything. We're still hoping for that Neymar. I only played a gold one. I didn't get a chance to finish all of my games. I had like 15 games left to play in like seven hours. I just didn't have enough time to play them all. But I'm still hoping for Neymar first of all. But I've come around a little bit lately and been really wanting to try out that Messi. So if we got Messi, I'd be super happy as well. Are we going to get anything? I see Carvajal. That's probably the best one to take. I actually have him in my club right now. This David is also really interesting. He's five-star weak foot. He's only going for like 90000 He'd probably be an amazing super sub. But then, of course, Immobile is the highest rated, but he's not going for a lot either. I don't know if I should take Carvajal and then sell my Carvajal for the coins and then use that somewhere else in the club or try to take... David, I think I'm just going to take Carvajal and then I'll sell my tradable Carvajal. Not the greatest pick in the world, but at least it's something usable. We'll take that. Come on, something epic, something epic. Okay, so there's Benzema. I was actually looking at Benzema because I did that Luka Modric. And now I was looking at Benzema, but I just don't know with that agility and balance. I mean, everything else is epic. But I just don't know if I, can, if I can fit him into my club. I'll have to really give that some thought. But I think Benzema is the choice right here. So at least a 97 rated. Can't go wrong. I could certainly link him into my team somehow. So it would give us something else to think about. But certainly not exactly what we were hoping for. But not the worst in the world. Not the worst in the world by far. So two Real Madrid players. Certainly usable. So let's just get right to our packs. And then we'll take a look maybe at what team we're going to rock for Ultimate Team of the Season. Our, I believe we're going to have Ultimate Team of the Season in our red picks next week as well. So we really need to get at it. You know, you get so excited when you build your team. But then when you go to play the game, you're just not having the fun that you want. Let's see if we can rock anything. So not going to get a team of the season in our Jumbo Rare Players Pack. Just a Spanish right back from Chelsea. So we're going to get Aspilicueta, 84 rated. I mean, he is tradable, but from a Jumbo Rare Players Pack, a 100,000 coin pack, you're expecting something a little more epic than just Aspilicueta. I'm not sure what he's going for. I'm imagining 5,000, 6,000 coins. Let's see what he's going for. Actually, well, actually a lot more than I thought. I guess he's got some really good links. I don't think anyone's playing him at this stage of the game, but I'd be happy. I'll, I'll even sell him for 11,000 coins. That would be perfect. I mean, that's some coins into the club. Asensio, is he selling for anything? A little bit. I would certainly take that. Is he going for even more? Like, wow. So some of these are going for more than I thought. Okay, so I didn't see anything. I'm going to put them out there for like 7,000 coins maybe and see if that will sell. That would I would certainly take that. I have not, I've not packed Asensio a time or two before. I did not think he was going for that much. Anything else? I mean, just mostly other just rare golds. I'll use them. I don't know if we're going to get upgrade packs tomorrow, but I'm going to hold on to all my other rare golds and see what we end up getting. If they end up giving us a choice of like Premier League, Premium Players Packs, and League On and all of those major leagues, I don't know what we're going to do if we're going to try to open up a bunch of League On Premium Players Packs or... If we're going to try to do like I don't know. That's going to make it a, a tough decision. But let's go for our other Jumbo Rare Players pack. See if we get anything epic. Can we get something? Can we get a team of the season pack? So still, not going to be a team of the season. Can we get anything strong? So is this going to be uh, Jekko? So another 84 rated. Not, again, from a 100,000 coin pack, not exactly what you're hoping for and as an 84 rated as your number one card. But let's see if there's anything else special behind there. So an Aaron Ramsey. This one was going for a little bit at one point. You know, like I said, I'll just take the coins. We'll try to sell our Carvajal. I don't know when the best time to sell him would be. Probably around this time or tomorrow as people are really focusing on building their weekendly teams. Jekko is going, let's see, I see like 5,500. Let's put him out there for in that 5,000 range. You know, I'll take those coins if, if he will sell for that for sure. And Ribery was actually selling for a decent bet earlier too, as at least for an 82 rated. 
So, you know, I'm seeing, you know, if we could get 2,800, 2,900 for Rivery, that would be great. Um, the rest of them look pretty much just like just regular old rares. I'm going to pop all these up top just to save them for now. I may need a lot of rare players tomorrow if we try to build some more upgrade packs. But now we've got our ultimate pack. Like I said, my other one was terrible. So that's three uh, pr creme de la creme packs the top level uh one i didn't open on stream or, or on video but that one i said i got falcal is my best then i just had jecko and i had aspilaqueta so we are due for something just epic out of an ultimate pack just something mind-blowing i'm ready for it bring it to me ea bring it to me ea what are you gonna give me what are you gonna give me not gonna be team of the season spanish flag midfielder so is this going to be tiago so 87 rated tiago that's a little bit better at least it's a walkout but again not quite what you're hoping for this is an untradeable pack because i took the untradeable option for my division one rivals rewards but again not exactly what you're hoping for i mean i guess okay that's a little bit better you know you're kind of getting some quantity of decent stuff there so getting an 87 tiago 85 donorama and 85 bruno fernandez 84 lucas leva even a Morata. so i mean there's a couple decent things there but nothing that's really getting you excited you know and that's the thing you work so hard for your rewards wait all week for them and then you end up getting them and it's not quite what you want but it's just part of the deal. You know, I was hoping I'd at least get some crappy rest of the world team of the season card, but nothing there. So that one we're going to have to discard. That one discard. That one discard. That one keep. So we'll have several rare players. But I guess let's take a look at our, at our team that we're going to probably be playing with. You know, I've, I have really enjoyed this team. My only kind of issue is that I've got a tall out there on five chemistry. I was thinking if I could get that 99 Messi, I could certainly work him into the team at least on seven or eight chemistry. And, you know, I'm sure he would play amazing. Not that a tall has even played poorly on five chemistry, but, you know, I'm looking for something maybe just a little bit more. But now that I've got Benzema, I guess let's just play around with that a little bit. See if we're going to be able to get Benzema into the team because I certainly wouldn't mind. Let's just go to this one right here. You know, certainly I have enjoyed Douglas Costa, but I wouldn't mind if I had to part ways with Douglas Costa or with Atal. My only other concern is that, you know, let's just go to... I could probably just do it from here because Benzema is going to be so highly rated. You know, I was thinking I could just go, but I just I feel like Benzema is going to have to play in the middle, and I feel pretty comfortable in the middle. Both Mertens and Lucas Mora, both of them I love. Lucas Mora has been epic for us. Dries Mertens has been epic for us. Both of them, I, I think both of them are best suited for the middle. Just like I feel like Benzema is best suited for the middle. So I don't know that it would work too well. He does have those medium-low work rates, which is the same as Messi. I've said this before. I used to write off players if they had medium-low work rates, but now that I've had Messi, who has been epic for me with medium-low work rates in the past, I don't write it off quite as much, but still not what I prefer to see. I just don't know. I mean, I know some people have had a lot of success with Benzema. I just don't know that I'm going to be able to work him into the club the way I want to. So... Gonna have to give that a little bit of thought, but I guess we're just gonna have to think. You know, what if we if we did that? You know, what if we ended up changing this to something? You know, just got rid of wingers. What if we had something? You know, can we link anything in with a four triple two? You know, just play around with it a little bit. You know, we've got Luka Modric now. I don't know if I have him in my in my picks down there. Let me just let me put Modric out here. I wouldn't mind bringing nine goal in into the team as well. Uh, Hungman's son, I don't know if I'm going to get him out there. I thought about bringing Hungman's son in to link beside Lucas Mora. Uh, let me just get rid of I mean, I hate to pull. I've had this dream Neymar down here for my concept players. I hate to take him away because that would be like ending the dream. But let's put Modric out there. I don't know if there's anyone else that I'm playing with. So there, okay, so we would have Carvajal. I love this back line. I feel like Sergio Ramos is the best center back in the game. So I, I don't want to do anything to my back line. I love how that's working. I really like Allen. I didn't like Cyprian, as I, I've talked about before. So if we brought in Luka Modric, 
you know, so then Modric here would be linked. Uh, Benzema would be linked because, you know, they've got the, the Real Madrid links perfectly there. If we put Mertens here and then we put Allen there, I think then what we're not going to be linking Lucas Mora, I believe. So if we had Lucas Mora there, he would be off cam, which wouldn't be the end of the world necessarily. Let's see if there's any way we could link Lucas. So if we do that, I think we would have to have another Brazilian. Is there another formation without wingers that, that links a little bit better? Don't know that there is. Let's see. So how could we link that one? Uh, that one doesn't link as well either. Need to find one. Now maybe this one. Let's see. Would this link better? Okay, let's try to see if we can link this one out. We'll just give this one just a little bit of a go. So if we had Lucas Mora there, it's still, I think, because then we have Allen. Yeah, we would still need another Brazilian at the cam if we wanted Lucas Mora on 10 chemistry. Not that he would have to be on 10 chemistry, but you know, you kind of want to make sure you're getting the best out of your players. Like I said, I was playing a tall on five chemistry and not really having any problems, but guess we're just going to have to think about it a little bit more. Let me know what you got in your rewards down below. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me everywhere, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye.